Right, see, I saw for sound a bit funny. I just woke up. Um, where are my friends? Uh, place. Yeah, man, I just want to talk about some shit. Um, <clears throat> yeah, they tried to pull some shit yesterday, man. I tell you. Uh, I was with my friend at pub. And you'll, you'll see all the videos of the other targeting is enough. But they had this like undercover cop motherfucker looking motherfucker come up to me in the pub. And this is something they try to do a, quite a lot, right? Is to get me to either buy or sell drugs, yeah? So this motherfucker comes up to me, yeah? Sits right in front of me on the table. I'm at with my friend and starts talking to me and doing directed conversation as well. Saying, oh, I went to Scotland, you know, and all this kind of stuff. And I think she, well, she was talking about some other place relating to something I'd done as well. But she was doing, you know, bad direct conversation. But then the conversation turns to drugs. And then she, she's like... You know, ah, oh, Sheffield's so bad these days, it's turned so criminal. I was like, okay, where's this going? And it's like, even before she sat down, man, she just, I noticed she, like, when she came out the door, she seemed fixed on me, you know, in a weird way. Like, you know how some of them are, of the perps seem obsessed with you. This kind of got, gave me a feeling there. And another thing about this bitch is she looked a lot like someone I have feelings for. I mean, it's almost like they tried to choose her to look like her. So this is what I mean. These motherfuckers do research into your life, man. And they try and, try and get people that look like people you've known or know in your life. So this bitch, right? <laughs> she she comes she comes up and saying she's homeless and shit, right? And she's got like shiny shoes on, yeah. A new looking coat. You know, a makeup. And she's coming at me saying she's homeless, right? So I, I just peeped it and I just, I just said to her straight up, you know, if I'm not being funny with you, but if you're homeless, how come you got makeup on? Man. You should have seen her face change. She like looked at me like she didn't know what to say. And then she just said some bullshit like, oh, well, you know, I take time to look after myself. It's like this motherfucker not only had makeup on, she had a pack of cigarettes. It's like homeless people are usually begging for cigarettes, man. This bitch has got new clothes, new shoes and a pack of cigarettes, yeah, and makeup. <laughs> do, you, do you think I'm some kind of fool or something? But it's funny, isn't it, how just after she tried to get me to, to sell her drugs or buy drugs, a cop car comes down, done it, right in front of the pub. Now, isn't that a coincidence? I think not. But it's not the first time. I mean, not long ago they tried to get me to buy drugs and there's all fucking cops around. You know what I mean? It's some bullshit that they try and get you to do. They, they, they want you to... Get, set yourself up and she was on some bullshit like I have nowhere to stay so is this bitch is this bitch trying to say that she wants to come to mine no no that's not happening you're not coming to mine but the fucked up thing is like she kept asking questions like why are you here you know where are you going after this you know what are you doing it's a classic perp kind of <laughs> digging for info shit you, you know what I mean I thought they'd given up with that shit, but it seems not. It seems they think I'm, I'm going to tell them shit. But she says, what's your name? My friend gave his first name, but I'm like, uh, that's not, I don't really want to tell you my name. And then she says, come on, come on. Stop being so paranoid. Stop being paranoid. It's like, well, I don't really tell strangers, you know, my name. Oh, man, you should have seen how she changed, man. She looked like she was going to explode. She, she like, stares at me with, like, the biggest look of hate you can imagine. 
this bitch, man, she like stands up next to me, like, I guess in a vain attempt to try and like intimidate me or I don't know, convince me to tell her my name. It's like this chick, man. Oh man, she just stood up and like staring at me, and you know it's a perp when they get mad. I notice they get mad when you don't tell them shit. Because I remember one perp who pretended to be a TI, she she got mad and started fucking targeting me more when I wasn't going with what she wanted to do. And this bitch would just like that, man. She, she fucking stood up. It looked like she was going to slap me for a second, man. She looked like she was going to slap me or some shit. So I'm like, okay, you can slap me if you want, but I'm slapping you back. But, you know, then she just kind of calmed down and just said, okay, I'm going in. Nice talking to you, you know, like that. It's like, okay, by informer. I think I said something like that. You know, it's a fucking informer or something, or perp, or an under, you know, undercover. But you think I'm stupid, man. I'm not selling you drugs. I'm not buying drugs off you. And later in the night, man, this like gang of street guys comes up to us and it's like, yo, have you got a roach? If you got a Rizzler, and then they're like, come up to my friend and said, do you want to buy weed? My friend's like, nah. You know what I mean? They're trying to sell us drugs again, man. It's like, I noticed afterwards that these motherfuckers, well, when I went past, they're like fronting, man, like going, making gun sounds. It's like, man, bitch, please, shut the fuck up. You know what I mean? Ignore these motherfuckers. I'm not intimidated by you motherfuckers, man. Just first of all. Then these motherfuckers left, man. I noticed they left as soon as I, I was about to get 